Good afternoon. My name is Angela Anderson, and I'm from Legal Assistance here at MCRD. Just letting you know what we have available right here on base if you uh, need something right away. We provide free legal assistance. All of our services are, are free. And we're located right across from the gym. You'll notice if you've been there before that you could come in any door. We now have only one door uh, on the north side. But once you come in, uh, we're still in the same location right across from the gym. Our hours, this is a little bit wrong. Notarizations are actually Monday through Thursday, anytime that we're open and we have somebody available. And also on Friday, if we do have someone available, we just don't promise you that. So if you need something notarized, please come in. Make sure you have your ID card with you to have that taken care of, and we can get that done as soon as possible. The only exception to that is if you have mortgage documents that require more than five or six signatures, then please call us ahead of time and let us know, and we'll, uh, we'll make an appointment for you to come in, because that does take a while. For attorneys, if you need to actually speak to an attorney, we're on a first-come, first-served basis on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10. So get there as close to 8 as possible, and you can come in and get, get seen that day. If you need to make a follow-up appointment, you don't have to go through walk-ins again. You can just call the attorney that you met with and go ahead and make a makeup appointment. And if you need a will worksheet, and that includes our, our will, our advanced health care directive, and a spring durable power of attorney, uh, you can go ahead. You don't even need to come through walk-ins. Just come in any time during regular business hours. Pick that up, take it away, fill it out, turn it back in, we'll make you an appointment. So we try to be as user-friendly as possible. And here's what we here's who's eligible. And so this if you're getting off of active duty but not retiring, then definitely pay attention now. We'd like to see you now while you uh, still have benefits so that we can get you taken care of. So if you're active duty, if you're a retiree, whether that's medically retired or just uh, time and service retired, we'll see you. As long as you have an ID card or a dependent ID card, then, then you can be our client. Now keep in mind that we can't see conflicted parties. And so if you're coming for, let's say, a, a legal separation or some other kind of issue where there's another opposing party who could be one of our our uh, clients, then we can't see both sides, but we can send the, the other party to a different base to be seen there. Here's our services. We deal with personal legal problems. So we see just about anything that you could possibly imagine. Uh, the difference between a personal legal problem and a business problem is, let's say, for instance, you have uh, another military family is helping provide for daycare for your child. So you're in a contract with them and you end up in some kind of dispute about payments or, or ceasing the contract or whatever the case may be. Then you, as the person with the child in that daycare situation, can come see us. But unfortunately, the other family who may be a, a military family cannot because that's actually running a business. So there's the difference between a personal legal issue and actually a, a helping out a business. So just keep that in mind. We do wills. Uh, we definitely recommend that everybody have a will if you don't have a trust already. And uh, we can get those taken care of within about a week or two as soon as you come in. So let us know about that. Taxes. Our tax center is open from January through April every year. And our volunteers can help you with that. Landlord-tenant issues, SCRA issues. Now what we don't do is contested divorces. Uh, Champus claims, anytime there's a claim against the government, and this may apply to a, a, several people in this room, if you think about your issue and who the opposing party is, and if the opposing party is the government because they're not doing something that you want, then that's unfortunately not our department, but there's probably another service on base that can help you with that. So mostly just people and companies are the opposing parties that, that we could help you if those are the opposing parties. So we can offer advice on small claims court, you end up in a dispute with a, with a roommate or a car dealer or something like that. We can offer advice on that. Of course, we can't represent you. We can't represent anybody out in town. We have to uh, just advise you on how to represent yourself. But we can work through some of the issues with you and possibly draft a letter or uh, let you know what kind of services we can provide and give you advice. And our notary services, these are great because they usually charge you about $10 per signature out in town, so come on by and use those. Our powers of attorney, uh, we do these very, very efficiently, in my opinion, and we get them taken care of very quickly, but please know that a lot of people come in and they say they want a general power of attorney, 
and they're not uh, necessarily thinking through all the consequences of that. So we discourage general powers of attorney because it is such a powerful document and it's so hard to get back. Uh, we understand that if you want one, we'll still do it for you, but we will give you a little bit of a lecture ahead of time to let you know how powerful it is. Uh, but most of what you want, you can do through a special power of attorney, and you can get that taken care of, and we even have a form that lists just about anything you can imagine. And if what you need isn't on there, you can fill that in. So just keep in mind that you don't always have to give a general power of attorney. We also do uh, in loco parentis. If you need someone to make decisions for your child, we can take care of that or for a child's medical treatment, we can help you get a special power of attorney for that too. Our wills, uh, we talked about that a little bit and what's included in that with the Advanced Healthcare Directive. Highly recommend that everybody take advantage of that, uh, especially since it's so convenient that we're right here and can get that knocked out pretty quickly. Uh, divorce separations and annulments. Again, we can't see both sides, but we can advise one side. And as long as it's uncontested, we can help you with that. Tax preparation. Uh, here's something that might apply to you, the Service Members Civil Relief Act. And most of the time what we see in these kinds of briefs is when people are coming off of active duty, they want to move and break a lease. They may have been in lease for, maybe there's six months left on it, but they need to leave within the next couple months. Well, come in and talk to us about that because the Service Member Civil Relief Act does protect you in that case and allows you to break that lease but timing is very important. So you need to come in, you have to pay the next month's rent after you give written notice. So let's say you wanna leave at the end of June, any time during May is good. But if you give that written notice on June 1st, now you also owe for July. So you need to be very careful about that. Uh, usually the question comes up, but what if I'm retiring or EASing, does that count? Yes, it does. As long as you signed your lease before you got the orders, to retire or get off of active duty, then you can get out of that lease. So technically you're PCSing to your home of record is how the SCRA looks at that. Uh, if you had any stays for court issues, if you use the SCRA to get out of going to court, say if somebody was suing you because of a car accident or anything like that, keep in mind that once you do come off of active duty, they can come back and get you after that. It does catch up. Here's our telephone uh, information. We're right here on base with the extension 4111. Uh, or just stop by is actually the easiest way to do it, and we can try to sort out whatever issues you have. And uh, if we can't help you, then we are happy to refer you to attorneys out in town or uh, other bases, whatever you might need help with there. And I think I was short enough. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. I have a child with special needs, and uh, do I have to have That's a separate document, and for something like that, we would look at the issues and see if that's something our office can handle, and if not, we know who to refer you to. So come on in. Anybody else? All right, well, have a good afternoon.